Coaster. I hope you don't mind the noise in the background. And today we're going to be doing part four of El Defo. So make sure you check out part one, two, and three. So let me just find my page. Chapter eight. A few weeks after my argument with Guinea, I see her handing out little cards. I wonder what they say. Will I get one too? A uh, sorry about er e e earlier here. She still is talking funny. Oh well, you're invited. What birthday party sleepover? When Friday, April sixteenth. Where's Guinea's house? A party, a birthday party, and a sleepover. Wow, we. Uh, a sleepover, huh? Well, I don't like Guinea anyway, and my new best friend Beth is spending the night with me that night, so ha! I know I should feel bad about this, um, but I don't. Well, be sure to play the dining room game with Beth. She'll love it. Things may not be perfect with Guinea, but yay! I get, but yeah. I, I'll get to go to her party. I can't wait. A whole week. Rats. After a long week of waiting, the day of sleepovers, the day of sleepover is finally here. I pack as soon as I get home from school. Oh boy, packing list. Cute PJs, toothpaste, pop, posh, possibly for show, toothbrush, sleeping bag, clean shirt for tomorrow, pill, pill, Miss Bun, maybe you need to keep hidden. Clean underwear, socks, extra here and eight batteries. I do not want to miss, to run out and miss everything. Birthday present for Guinea. Um, I've got to go, yes. Yes, listen, Cece is breathing on me. Okay, bye. Okay, already we're going. Already we're going. Mom drops me off at Guinea's house. Have fun, and I'll ask Miss and ask Miss Wakely to call me if you need anything. I'll be fine, Mom. Bye. Hi. So we're all here. You're act. You're the first, actually. But there will be certainly and Missy. I can't believe believe Missy's coming. She is so popular. The other guests arrive. Carrie, shy but nice, draws really good horses. Soft voice, so hard to hear. Uh, hi. I brought some candy. Want some? Huh? Ellen, asks too many personal questions. Always s smells good. Not shy at all. Where, where are... Where are those, what are those cords coming, that are usually coming out of your ears? Why do you wear overalls so much? Are you deaf? And there's Missy. Oh, it's a little deaf girl from Miss Iggleberry's class. Guinea's told me all about you. I, help! Cece is my deaf friend. Yes, I know. She's so adorable. Does she know some sign language? I could teach her right now. Okay, here's how you make an A. Neat. Girl, I know that. And here's a B. This is so fun. Um, C. Um, I gotta go um, find something. In spite of the rough beginning... I start having a great time in Guinea sleepover. We celebrate Guinea's birthday and explore her older brother's bedroom and play lots of Twister. Right hand blue. Cece. Good grief.
But then things start going downhill again. Hey, the, the TV guide says that somewhere is time is coming in 10 minutes. It's my favorite. Oh no, did she say somewhere in time? Squee. Oh, I love that movie. Uh, okay. Yay, eek. Oh, so dreamy. Oh, go, Marga. Eek. Oh, you poor thing. Can you even hear the TV? Oh, yeah, I can hear it. I can understand. I just can't understand. Well, then let's turn off the volume. I can hear it. I just can't understand it. And I'm not a poor thing. 103 minutes later. I love this music. I hope that it plans at my funeral. <sighs> What a fabulous movie. Yeah, so what's next? Um, Let's do a makeover on Cece. Cece, we think you are cute, but you'll be even cuter. We want to do your hair and makeup. What a great idea. No, no, I obviously hate makeup and all that girly stuff. No, N not going to do it. I don't want to. Here's a sign for yes and in, oh, yes, you are. Come on, Cece, don't ruin the fun. But I really don't want to make it for really. Y'all, wait, can people who wear hearing aids also wear makeup? That is the dumbest question I ever heard. Wait a minute, there's my chance to get up. Um, I don't believe we can. Missing up our hearing aids and stuff. I thought so, bummer. Whew. Okay, since that didn't work out, how about we head on into our sleeping bags? I guess. Thankfully, after all that awfulness, this party, the party gets to be fun again. And you should have seen Mary kissing that boy from Miss Huffman's class. Oh, this mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> this could get interesting. But then, click! Guinea turned out the lights. <laughs> Uh-oh. I can tell they're laughing. But what about? I need to see. Did Guinea do this on purpose? Is she mad at me? Well, rats. If I asked Denny to turn the lights back on, oh, she'll be even madder at me. Everyone will be mad at me. Hee 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 hee. Woo woo. I hate this. And they're talking about me. Are they laughing at me? I can't take it anymore. I'm gathering my star stuff in the dark and I will feel my way out into the basement and up the stairs Miss Wakely will you call my mom I don't feel so good I'm relieved that mom doesn't ask any more questions on the way home uh, hi, Dad. Can I watch TV with you and Mom? Oh, I'm so glad to be home. What a night. I wish I told those girls what I think. Our superhero, the mighty old Def the El Defo, is tied up in a band pajamas wearing, wearing supervillains. The supervillains ignore, but El Defo and Tor and more someone in time. But El Defo is strong. What are those cords for? Why do you wear overall so much? Are you death? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yes, I'm death. And you are on my next list. Here's a taste of your own rope. And some of the funeral music you wanted to.
but it's not over yet, El Defo. She is acoustic by my other meaning, mincing full. Eek! I'm super missy, prepared for beauty, my little deaf friend. Our hero is more than ready. Read my lips, nobody touches the face. How about a makeover, missy? The pleasure that will give you, you never know. Ta-da! Eek, I'm hideous! At long last, I'll... Defo faces a foe and to lastly super guinea. Don't ever call me your deaf friend again or your friend will turn off those lights off on purpose. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry is enough. Goodbye. Okay, we're going to end the episode here. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, me reading El Defo. And make sure you stay, um, make sure you watch for my other video, part five. And first, just to get your sweet excitement about this book, have some part of a lollipop. Good, right?